everyone and welcome back to Aussie Scrapper. Today's layout is all about my lovely puppy. Uh, well, I shouldn't really say puppy because he's about uh, 12, 13 years old now. I did start off the layout by just sewing some of this white cardstock. And I do trim two sides of my cardstock just because I know that later on I will be matching this page. I did trim down my photo only because I wanted to get rid of some of that negative space and concentrate more on his beautiful little face. I will admit that this part of the layout did not go to plan. I am using a Kaisercraft 6x6 stencil and it's called Spotty. And then I just sprinkled it with some Stampendious embossing powder and it's a clear fine powder. And then I will be using my heat gun just to melt that embossing powder. I must admit, I did not get the effect that I thought I would or the effect that I had in my brain anyway. But I do continue and in the end, I do like the end product. I then got out some of my Distress Oxides and the first colour I used was Walnut Stain and I'm just doing the good old packaging technique. I'm going to confess to you crafty people that when I was making this layout I was in a very agitated stressed out frame of mind I guess you could say. I actually made this layout just so that I could calm down and find some inner peace. And now that I'm looking at this layout and knowing what state of mind I was in I think I'm going to have to scrapbook when I am highly agitated and stressed more often because I really really like how this layout turned out. So the next colour I use from the Distress Oxides family is, oh what was it called, Wild Honey. The third colour I used is Cracked Pistachio and I love this colour but in this case I only wanted it I guess as a highlight and only in certain places I didn't want it to overtake the whole layout if that makes sense. I really was not happy with that white background anymore so I got out my antique linen distress oxides. My aim in changing the background from white to this sort of um, beigey creamy colour was because I wanted to complement my dog's colouring or his complexion a lot more and I thought it just really highlighted how beautiful he is. Well he is to me anyway. I will then go in with a baby wipe and just lightly take away some of that colouring and it just adds like a nice soft haze to the whole effect and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I really went to town with the Distress Oxides on this layout. I'm now using the Black Soot and the Kaiser Craft Spotty Tet Stencil once again. And I'm just randomly adding another layer of texture to this layout and just randomly putting down some black spots everywhere using my lovely Kaiser Craft stencil. This is the Finnebear Art Extravaganza Mint Green Patina Effect Paste and I'm just going to put some of the paste into my little dish there and then I'm going to add some oh, Distress Spray Stain in the colour Cracked Pistachio and then just mix it all together. This paste has a very grainy effect so I just put it down wherever I felt like. I really was not thinking much about this layout. It was just a therapy layout to get out some of my tension. Let me know if you guys scrapbook to try to relax yourselves or do you only scrapbook when you're in a certain frame of mind. I've decided I now wanted to do some more stenciling and add a bit more texture to this layout like there wasn't enough going on already. So I just mixed some embossing paste, or you could use textured paste, and I added some colour burst uh, sepia powder, and then I also added, because I wanted it a little bit more brown, some of the Distress Spray Stain in Vintage Photo. Mixed it all together and then went to town with some stenciling. Word of warning, if you do not like getting your hands dirty, do not attempt this layout. I'm now just dyeing my cheesecloth with some Distress Spray Stain in the colour Vintage Photo. When I'm finished, I'll just put it aside so it can dry. 
time for some stamping using my archival ink in jet black. I'm not really thinking about the stamping, I'm just plonking it down wherever I feel like. These papers I will be using are from the Pazercraft Paul Perfect collection. I'm going to be using the fur paper that you see there. That's going to be my first match for this photo. And don't do what I just did. I forgot that I had my craft mat there and I cut right through it. My first match on this photo is complete and I'm just going to ink the edges using the Distress Oxide in black soot. My next layer of matting is going to have a torn effect to it. I really like the texture that this adds. I really wanted to use this paper but it was the wrong colour. So I just altered it. I used the Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide and then it was absolutely perfect. I use double sided tape to adhere everything down and now I'm just inking my edges with some distress oxide. And he goes down the other layer and that one is also going to be inked with some distress oxide in the colour black suit. Just inking my paper now with the distress oxide in the colour black suit. This paper is also from the Perfect Collection from Kazakrom. I'm going to be in the middle of this paper only because the outside I want to use as a frame for my layout and the inside I'm going to use to match the rest of my photo. I'm really happy with how this is coming along so I just use double sided tape there to adhere everything down. I promise this will be the final matting on this photo so I'm going with the torn effect once again and once I adhere everything down, I will once again use the Black Soot Distress Oxide to ink all the edges. These handmade embellishments that have been in my stash I actually bought from our local dollar store. So the title of this layout is going to be Smile, You're the Best. In my stash of chipboard, I found these lovely swaying branches from a company called Two Crafting. And here is my cheesecloth that I dyed earlier. It's nice and dry now and I'm just going to be tucking it uh, just behind all those paper layers and I quite like how this lands up looking in the end and I like that pop of texture that it just adds to everything. So once I'm happy with where the cheesecloth is I do take some glue and just stick it all down so that it does not move anywhere. I'm going to apologise for the speed of the video, it is at about 4 to 6 times its regular speed. But if I didn't do this it would have been an extremely long video because this layout did take me a very long time. I'm just working on the branding strip of one of the papers and just thinking the edges. Now that branding strip that's going to go down the bottom of my layout, it says pets are bundles of love wrapped in fur and that is just so true. I love my dog. I love all my pets, so, but I just love animals, what can I say? This Nouveau embellishment mousse is a new toy for me, I only bought it recently and I am using it to add some colour to that chipboard. I did edit most of this out, but on these chipboard leaves I actually used two or three coats of the Nouveau embellishment mousse. As much as I loved this Nouveau embellishment mousse, the colour just wasn't quite right once I put it against my photos and the whole layout. So what I did was I got out my Distress Oxide in Cracked Pistachio and I added some of that to see what the outcome would be. And still something was not quite right so I got out my Prima Art Alchemy Metallic Wax in the colour Bronze Age and I just used my fingers like I've been using the whole time just to add a bit more, I wasn't really adding colour but I was toning it down I guess is the word I'm looking for. At this stage I'm still not 100% sure about the colour of my leaves but I just put them in place and I leave them there while I move on to my next step and just think about what I'm going to do about these leaves. So my next step is to just cover my photos and protect it and I'm going to be using my vintage photo uh, distress spray stain and just using that to do some splatters around my page. 
and here's a close-up of what it looks like so far and I'm still not sure about those leaves so as I wasn't 100% happy I went back and I got the mint green patina effect paste and I'm uh, once again using my finger applying that on moving on to the next one and in the end I am happy with the patina effect paste so that's good but I do go back and add a bit more of that um, metallic wax from Prima, the bronze age, the bronze age color that I used before, and I just um, just a light coating, and it just brings everything and draws everything together, and I'm really happy with the end effect. So now I'm just gluing down my leaves, and I believe that's the end of this video. So sorry that it's a bit long, but um, I did try to keep it as short as possible. There was just so much involved in this layout. There was so much texture. There's so many layers of different products, but I love the, I, I just love it. It's one of my favorite layouts. So if you're still watching, thank you so much. If you're a regular watcher, I appreciate all your views, your comments, everything. And if you are watching, you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay well, everybody.